Hi, I'm Catherine. So today we're going to talk about how to create an image. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your scene set in SDK to a very visually appeasing uh, situation. So here I, I have a scenario centered around a telescope at the top of Maui. And so we want to make this to be our image. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my snap properties. This is the yellow folder file icon on the top of your 3D window that has a camera in the middle of it. And so once I click this, it's going to show me the different types of properties that I can set up for my image. The first thing is, where do I want this image to go? Do I want it to just go to the clipboard or do I want to save it to a particular formatting file, to a particularly formatted file? So I can choose a bitmap, a PNG, a raster, a TIFF, a JPEG, choose whichever file, full file type you like. The next thing it's going to ask you is if you want to do anti-aliasing. If you're unfamiliar with anti-aliasing, it's a process where SDK is going to look at the color of each individual pixel and then the color of the pixels around it and try to blend them across each other so you have a very clean looking image. The problem with this comes in when you have things that are very fine details. If you have a route line that is only one pixel wide, it can become muted as it gets blended with the colors around it. So if you have things like text or route lines, you want to make sure that you embolden them when you're turning on anti-aliasing so that you will have, so that they will still become clean and crisp. For now, I'm going to leave anti-aliasing off. The next thing you have is your resolution. Do you want to use a normal resolution or do you want to use a high resolution? Now, if you choose a high resolution, it's going to take a little bit longer for SDK to actually render your image, but it's going to open the aperture of your view, allowing more information. So if you're going to blow this um, image up to put it on a large screen projector or make posters out of it, you're going to want to make sure that you use a high resolution image. So I'm going to use a high resolution image here and use our default settings. Once you have your snap configured appropriately, you can click OK. The next thing you want to do is go to our snap frame button on the top of your 3D window. This is the digital camera on a green disc looking icon. And once we click this, it's going to ask us where you want to save your image and what name you want to give it. So I'm going to call this my Maui Observatory and my version one picture. And then once you click save, SDK will go through the process of rendering all of that information in your view. You should see a message come up in your message viewer once the uh, image has been created. And now we can go and find that image. So I'm going to go to my scenario folder. And now we can see that I have this Maui Observatory image. And if I open it, we have a lovely high resolution image of the scene. So that's how you create a snapshot in SDK.